Welcome back everybody. So today it is morning time. I just woke up. I still have that puffy face, <laughs> um, but it's cold outside. So I thought I'd treat my family to some arroz con leche. That is rice pudding or rice and milk. This is a Mexican style. It's very simple. Uh, my grandmother used to make big batches of this, especially in the winter time. Um, but I'm going to do a smaller batch. If you want to double this recipe to make more, you definitely can. And the only thing I'm doing different from my older recipe video is excluding the clove. But for the most part, it's still delicious and easy to make. So I'm going to get started. Here are the ingredients I'll be using today. I have four cups of water, a half cup of washed rice. I'm using long grain. Sometimes I use medium grain. Uh, just use what you have. Now, if you use short grain, that might be too sticky and starchy, but Again, try to make it work if that's all you have. I'm also going to be using a quarter cup of sugar, half of a large cinnamon stick. And if you don't have cinnamon sticks, you could also use maybe a quarter teaspoon to a half teaspoon of ground cinnamon. I'm also using two teaspoons of vanilla extract and one can, this is a 12 ounce can of evaporated milk. Okay, so I already turned on the heat. It's a medium heat. I'm going to add my water. Yep, that's my kid, he's awake. <laughs> and now I'm going to add my cinnamon stick. I'm gonna break it apart. Okay, so I will sieve out the cinnamon later, but at this point, I just want my water to come up to a gentle simmer, and I'm going to cover it with a lid and let it simmer gently for about 10 minutes or so. You really just want to intensify the cinnamon flavor into the water, basically like a cinnamon tea. Okay, so it has been around 10 minutes. You can let this go longer, but I'm actually going to scoop out most of the cinnamon. Okay, so I took all my cinnamon sticks out and I have the, the heat off, I'm gonna turn it back on. And now I'm going to bring it back to a gentle simmer. I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon of salt. Give that a mix. Now I'm going to add my washed and rinsed rice. This is a half a cup of rinsed washed rice right into the water. Give that a stir. And you can see as soon as you start stirring it, you know, it releases the starch and the starchiness from the rice is what's, is what's gonna give it that, that thick pudding texture. So now I'm going to cover this with a lid and I'm going to let the rice cook while it's gently simmering for about 10 to 13 minutes. By the way, if you find that the rice is boiling too hard, go ahead and adjust your heat to a lower temperature because you just want it to gently simmer. Maybe a gentle simmer to a rapid simmer, but nothing boiling because then you might run the risk of overcooking the rice Okay, so my rice has been simmering and cooking for about 13 minutes, so it, it's definitely cooked through. I'm going to give this a stir. Now I'm going to add a quarter cup of sugar, and you can adjust the sweetness to this. If you find that you want more sweetness, then maybe add a tablespoon at a time until you reach your desired preference. Now I'm going to add my evaporated milk. And you wanna work with a, a medium low to low heat. So now what I'm going to do is give this a stir and let this continue simmering. And this may look a little too watery to you, but trust me, once you let this gently simmer for another 10 minutes, everything will thicken. And then as it sets, it will continue to thicken. This is the consistency that I like with arroz con leche. Now, if you want a really thick pudding, then maybe scale back on the water when you're boiling. Maybe try three cups of water instead. But I like these ratios of ingredients for the consistency that we like. I like, to, I like it to be kind of like a thick, medium thick to loose porridge texture. But adjust the liquid in this if you want it thicker. 
And if you would like to add raisins, which my grandmother loved to do, but the kids didn't when growing up, you can add your raisins, maybe a half cup of raisins now, and let those continue gently simmering with everything else, and they'll soften and get plump. And if you want more cinnamon flavor, add a quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon to this as well. You can play around with the ratios, but I'm going to let this gently simmer for another 10 minutes. And I'm not going to add the lid. I'm going to leave the lid off. Okay, as you can see, this is after 10 minutes of just gently simmering and stirring. My rice pudding is done. It's the perfect consistency. And even though you might say like, hey, it's not as thick as I like, trust me, I'm going to shut the heat off. And as it sets, it will continue to thicken. So what I'm going to do now the heat is completely off. I'm going to add two teaspoons of vanilla extract and give it a stir and this is done. Okay, so now I'm just going to serve and as you can see as it sets here, it really does get like a thick porridge pudding type consistency. And this is it. And you definitely can have around probably six of these cups of or servings, uh, four for sure. But yeah, this is definitely a, a good portion size for a smaller family. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it. And thanks for watching.